do dip into other ones every so often. So we're going to do an RPG on this one. As we can see from here, we haven't really did anything as far as RPGs go here, so we're not sure if it'll be a good one or a bad one. But then again, the play system just came about, so we could probably go ahead and get a license for that. It's fairly expensive, but I think we should be able to afford it without going bankrupt. And let's go ahead and start developing a new one. Pretty soon, after, uh, pretty soon as well, we should probably go ahead and get a new engine as well. We've had the same one for quite a while. I don't know, sometimes that can hurt how much a particular game will sell. So stick it about the same again. See again, hype is going to be more so how much attention your game has already gotten so far. Um, a lot of times you can also do like newspaper articles and stuff like that. If you stay in production for too long, as you can see, the hype will start to gradually get worse. Um, Let's see. So we leveled up the 3D graphics. So hopefully we should have another version of that pretty soon. Yep, version 2. So as we can see, this is going to hopefully be another huge hit and should hopefully refinance a lot of our future endeavors as well. So this should hit pretty high as far as income coming back, which will be really nice. Yep. So we replenished a lot of what we spent on hiring people. So hopefully this should bring us back over at least three million. Yeah, because I usually look at the see we're going to spend about thirty nine thousand, and basically we'll get some additional information. That usually will make it a little bit easier since you don't have to spend research points on it. So usually I'll go ahead and do these. I haven't seen a downside of doing so. Yeah, so in this case we now have aliens. So we can do games with the, th uh, the theme of aliens. So we had a pretty good month there. So it was a little bit unexpected, but I guess it went into the news a little bit, and so it, a lot of people got a little bit of additional attention on it. All right, so yep. So we might even hit about five million at this point. So we're gonna definitely have to get more stuff to put into the custom engine because we do want to research something. Otherwise, it'd be kind of a waste if we don't actually get anything useful in the new engine. And I do want to continue with uh, 3D, so we're going to need 40 research points. So first off, let's generate a report on that. We may even need to... Yeah, so we might even need to actually... Well, actually, we could probably want to do medium games because this will allow us to make bigger games and that in itself will be quite useful. But we may need to make a couple more games in order to get the research points we need. So, publishing, con publishing contracts. Now, this is something I kind of mentioned early on in the game. 
I didn't remember how far into it it gets. Publishing contracts are usually the best thing for getting more fans. Usually if you have a large fan base, it'll make publishing your own games a little bit better. Uh, what they usually will give you is a couple... Um, here, let's go ahead and pull publishing contracts. What it's going to do is it'll give you what kind of topics and genres. Like in this particular case, any topic will do, any genre will do. Uh, the this will be the publisher, the person you're working for. The minimum score. So we need to score at least a six when they do the uh, you know the rating on it. If we don't do six, we're going to pay a penalty of 175,000. So this could be a good bit more than normal. Uh, also, too, the anything in red will kind of tell you what we might be lacking. So in this case, we don't actually have the Super Nintendo license. Uh, in this case the TES but so that may be a, a small factor if you don't want to necessarily take this one because you don't have some of the licenses for that like in this case any game that is action so any topic but it has to be action minimum score of seven the game size set, uh, medium and the target audience has to be for the young people but we also do not have a license on the Sega uh, if any, on this one we need a prison type theme, but again we do not have prison researched. I think that was one of our options though that we could have made, but uh, this will be a prison game for the PlayStation. On this particular one we need a minimum score of 6, any topic, any genre, and these will be like the royalties that uh, we end up paying towards them. Okay, so what we can do Let's maybe check to see if we can do a prison. Alright, so let's go ahead and try that the casual prison one. Since we already have the play system, we'll try this one. So we have to try to get a minimum score of 8. So we want to make sure that our people are going to make a good game. So that is our goal. So I'll make this for 8. We will call this Shawshank. And we're going to use our because again we're trying to get enough research points so that we can get the 3D graphics version 2 which will then allow us to make a little bit better games so we're gonna probably do at least one or two more games and this will also give us a means of getting a little bit more fans because also the publishers they they usually help you get a little bit more sales because the publishers can be a little bit more well known than the people we may have and also, since we now have medium games, we're actually going to have to sit here and figure out who we're going to put where. So in this particular case, let's say if we want to do gameplay, we want to make sure this gameplay is good, so we're going to have to make sure that we throw someone on there that's going to do that. And then let's go ahead and... may just use him since he's kind of in the middle for the other two. The key thing here is you don't want to stress them. You don't want to go over the 100%. So if you make one person develop every single thing in this entire game, the game will be made, but unfortunately it will also be... You're going to stress out some of your people, which will cause problems with the development part of it. So let's go ahead and get level design up pretty high. Get a little bit of dialogue. We'll put this guy in dialogue. So at this point, I usually never go over 100%, so we'll leave him there. And we're going to put someone that does design really well on that one. So we'll put Angel there. And then... Derek will just do everything that we is not particularly important, but we'll just put him on a lot of different things.
And since we do have a game that's currently being worked on, I think we could probably run a little bit of cost here. So we're going to do 500,000 for a media booth. And see, like, if you go further, it's 1.5 million, which is going to be very expensive, but when you get into the larger, much, much larger games, 1.5 million is pretty much change compared to what you're going to spend on the game itself. Whereas a lot of our games right now probably run us probably no more than a million or so. So we're going to do a medium booth. And this will increase our hype just a little bit. We can't do marketing still, which is a slight downside, but that's fine. So we're going to increase sound and graphics, and we're going to get rid of design there. So we'll put my person on that. We'll put them on graphics as well. Another key thing too is we hit 50 research, which is going to make it really good because now we can finally get the 3D graphics version too. Also the bigger stalls you get usually will allow you to get a lot more people as well. Because usually that will increase your fans by a little bit and then it will also increase your hype. See we went from one hype to about 50. Unfortunately, our design and technology was not very high. It was kind of debatable even if we'll hit the 8 rating we're hoping to get, but we'll see. And I'll probably let them build a little bit more until my hype starts going down. So we really need to get this research done. So we're going to go and do that. Another very important thing I want to get to would be the marketing. The marketing is going to be very useful as well. And remember our goal was to hit 8. Which unfortunately is very far from 8. So we're probably, in addition to... the penalty, we're probably not going to get very many sales either. But again, hopefully this will still give us a little bit of fans, even though it's not a very good game all in all. See, in this case we got 1.8 thousand fans. See, we didn't live up to expectations, so we're going to take a bit of a penalty. But in the end, we probably about we about doubled the amount of fans we have, which actually is going to be still long term. It'll be more beneficial doing that. Short term, we get hit with a couple fees, so it's not a big deal. You just don't want to make a really, really bad game. If the game has ratings ones and twos, you're going to lose a lot of fans. But as you can see, since we went through a publisher, we're getting quite a bit more sales overall, even though we're not making as much per game. All right, so we're going to generate a report. And we may just go ahead and send everyone on vacation again, because when they get back... This is when they get back, we want to make sure that we start to get this game engine designed. Marketing is not something that we necessarily need for the engine. Yeah, in this case, prison and, prison and casual is a terrible combination, so that's probably another reason why I had low ratings. Uh, gameplay seems to be very important for this game type, and the platform and genre were really bad. So play system is not very good for casual. That's usually more so for your like your Game Boy or um, like handheld devices. But we know that for future games, which is good. So at this point. Let's go ahead and develop our custom engine. So we want to bring it up to the 3D version 2. 